AFC Championship. Chiefs beat the Ravens. Uh, let's just get controversial. Let's get takey. Tyler, is Patrick Mahomes your goat already, or does he have more to prove to you? No, no. Still, still has more, more to prove to me. Um, but like I said, he's making great fucking time, right? His, he's going to his fucking um, his fourth Super Bowl in six seasons as a starter. 28 years old in his fourth fucking Super Bowl. Um, you, you know, like I've always said, he's the best quarterback I've ever seen. But yeah, you got you got to run that resume up a little bit more to be the goat. Like shit, there was a time when when Aaron Rodgers was the best quarterback I've ever seen, but I never said he was the goat because that resume was a bit shabby, you know. So so yeah, he's he's on the trajectory and he's making great fucking time. Uh, what did you think of the game? And obviously, this is going to be a big narrative bull on Mahomes <laughs> versus Lamar. But what did, what did you think of the game? Um, it was. That second half was very fucking ugly. It was sloppy. It, and um, the Ravens, though, bro, like, you know, Kansas City snuck it up a bit, but the Ravens, I don't think I've ever seen a team who we thought was good enough to win a Super Bowl have such a dumb fucking playoff game like they had, right? Just multiple penalties, multiple, you know, just just missteps, you know, on, on the offensive end where they're fumbling at the goal line. And, you know, they had, like, what, four, three or four roughing the uh, passer penalties. Just very, very sloppy, undisciplined ball. Hey, the one playing. roughing the passer penalty when they straight up, uh, old boy, straight up slapped Mahomes he slapped in the face. the fuck out of him. And low-key tried to follow him after that shit, too. Like, not, <laughs> like bro, like, they wanted that man gone. Like, like, they were like, we cannot scheme against this dude. We got to get this motherfucker out of here. But, yeah, it was, it was just such a dumb fucking game from Baltimore, bro. I feel like there was penalties, obviously, and those were dumb. Like, the taunting shit, my nigga. You realize the situation, right? 15 yards? Like, what the fuck? And then he makes up for it. And then I feel like the fumble was a great play on the defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like he fucked up in that situation. He fucked up by tearing his fucking hand open. But, and, and you know what I mean? But, it's like, I don't think he fucked up in that situation. That was a great play. I was talking to Mike before uh, you hopped on, Tyler. Like, it felt like when you go by somebody and they, like, pick you clean from the back and tap it forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a when you blow by somebody. Like, that's what it felt like. It was just a... Great fucking place. I don't put that on them, but yeah, man, it was a bunch of dumbass penalties outside of that for sure. It felt like um, I, I think this is what's so fun to me about football is the balance between smart takes and dipshit takes is like it's like the Thanos is like perfectly balanced. You know what I mean? Because on the one hand, there's no question to me the Ravens are a better team than the Chiefs, and Lamar's a great quarterback despite what has happened with him in the playoffs. But like I told Shar, it's like an upside down galaxy brain take because the smartest take is that motherfucker is going to go win the playoff game. <laughs> you tell me whatever the fuck you want to tell me about the scheme, about the coaches, about the receivers. That motherfucker is a, he is going to win the playoff game. And that dumbest possible take has been right almost every fucking time. He's six years into his career. He has the second highest winning percentage in history for an NFL quarterback. Uh, behind only Bart Starr, who played ten games in the playoffs at oh, nine yeah. and one. That's my whole I mean, record, dog. Fuck that. He's crazy, and I, <laughs> but I love that he overwhelms the he overwhelms everything else. He overwhelms all of the nuance and intelligence you could bring to the game, and it's just who's Pat playing for this year? He's still with the Chiefs. I'm gonna put money on the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah. Hey, been the case for out of the last five years. They've been in the Super Bowl six straight fucking AFC championships. Just an unreal run right now. And they put a lot of pressure on Lamar, you know what I'm saying? But, like, Mahomes just looked so fucking comfortable. And I was telling y'all, like, watching it, I'm just like, this is where you can see the difference in experience. Where somebody's been here before and somebody hasn't. You know what I mean? It was just super obvious. Somebody was clocking in for a 9 to 5, and another person was playing from emotion. And if you don't, like, you know what I'm saying, reel that emotion in and focus that, it, and it seemed like the Ravens just couldn't do that shit. You know what I mean? That's why there was all the penalties and shit like that, but. Yeah, man. I mean, do you think I was wondering, do y'all think he is this was a reflection of him not being here or his disposition isn't made for pressure? And that's why he hasn't made it to this point before. You know what I mean? Like, you're talking about, you're talking about Lamar, Lamar, because obviously, oh, yeah, okay, I'm not I'm not talking about Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> he's he been there and he got and he he's built for this shit. Obviously proved that over and over, like you said. But like, is you know, I, I was wondering that about Lamar. Do you, I, what, how do y'all feel about this? You know, how he played today and just in general? Ah, it's I've I've got conflicted emotions, right? You know, part of me is like, you know, he's still fairly early in his career. You know, these are the are the bumps you got to take. You know, he's got a lot of years ahead of him. He'll figure it out. But these windows close quick in the NFL, bro. Like that is not a fucking guarantee. So 
I don't know. I don't know. Like, like we saw him, you know, ball out against Houston la- last game. You know, we've seen mm-hmm. him show out, show up in, in the playoffs this postseason, but just had a terrible game here. And unfortunately, he's had, you know, a handful of terrible games in the playoffs. So that triple coverage, though, bro. Yeah. Nigga. That's, that's the worst possible way to end your fucking season. You can't right there. make that decision, bro. Like, there's nothing from any angle. You know what I mean? The, the, here's, here's, a, here's my take. The NFL is, for all of the parity, and we haven't had a back-to-back Super Bowl champion in forever, so there's a lot of parity in the league. But the truth about it is there are some quarterbacks that are just like the fucking Death Star. Like, you just see him out the window, and you just have no hope. Like, and, and, and I, I mean, even with that saying, the Death Star blew up, right? But, like, <laughs> but like if, you, if you think about it, it's so rare that you succeed against those quarterbacks, that it becomes this larger than life storyline. Like the Niners, the catch in 1981 was because the Niners got one over on a Cowboys team that no one could get one over on. Mm-hmm. Right. If you look at, I just mentioned the Mahomes is number two in winning percentage. Bart stars, number one. Okay. The Packers teams in those days, that's, you know, they built a whole reputation forever off that Patrick Mahomes, 14 and three in his career in the playoffs. He's 20. That motherfucker years old. walks in the building and blocks out the sun. His right. shadow is enormous, you know? Yeah. Like, that's crazy. So then Jim Plunkett's eight and two. Terry Bradshaw, 70 Steelers, 14 and five. Troy Aikman, the Cowboys in the 90s, 11 and four. Tom Brady's 35 and 13. And then Joe Montana's 16 and seven, the Niners in the 80s. If you're playing against those guys in their decade, we can try and put Lamar in the context of himself. But the truth is, he's not in his context. He's in the context of being one of the all-world level athletes that that motherfucker is stealing hope and sunlight from as long as he's playing and he's healthy. Like, I mean, I mean that is just the fucking fact of it. Like, Peyton Manning did everything you could ever do as a quarterback. And we will have to explain to our kids that at one point it was Manning versus Brady because they won't mm-hmm. believe us because it's just Brady. It's his era, right? And that's how I feel about Lamar, bro. Like, we, we have a saying uh, at the 562, we have a saying. It's like, sometimes you're in someone else's documentary. You know, like, it's your life. So. But you are just in Patrick Mahomes' documentary. You got main character ability, but you're not the main character. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, I agree. Crazy. I think it's a little bit of, like, some just some guys are just not the best of their era. doesn't mean they're not. Amazing. It's it's a little bit like Kevin Garnetti to me, or like pick Charles pick, Barkley. Yeah, pick an NBA star that went up in the LeBron era. Like that guy or is the Jordan era. The best, yeah, yeah. it seems like. It has the ability to be the best in moments. The best on the field, the best on the court, period, point blank. But just like isn't quite good enough to buy himself, will him his team above the guys, yeah. the one guy who was better than him, mm-hmm. or the two guys who was better than him. Yeah. I know. But even and like I, that third down when the game was on the line. Like I, 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 you know, I don't, I don't watch a whole bunch, but I was yeah. like, before the snap, I knew, like, there's no fucking chance he's not making that play. I don't give a fuck how he's doing it. The play is gonna get made because it's fucking Pat. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. That's just what it is. Like, you just knew it. That's what it is. He man. knew it. Everybody in the building knew it. The fucking Ravens knew it. We all fucking knew it. You know what I'm saying? He's done it too many times. Right. I hate to be a fan of a team playing that dude in a Super Bowl. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's been a long two weeks. I mean, you were saying the Ravens, and I was like, I, I was, I was wondering, like, you know, um, you said the Ravens initially because the Ravens beat y'all last, but I was thinking, like, what the, all the shit you said is like, but it's fucking Pat Mahomes on the other side, and you could, like, you, at minimum, you know, he's built for this situation and he's fucking ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe Purdy comes in there and is fucking nuts, crawling his stomach. Maybe the same thing happens with Lamar. You just don't know. But you know you're going to get the best Pat, Pat Mahomes. And that can beat anybody any time. And that's what's scary about him. You know what I mean? That's why you'd rather play, I think, a Ravens team than Patrick. Because, you yeah. know what I mean? You could count I, him being at his best. I think y'all asked me on the last episode, and I said I, I, I'm hoping the Niners win and that they play the Chiefs. And I was wrong. Like, but like by halftime of the Chiefs Ravens game, I was like, I don't want to play this motherfucker. He's scary, bro. He scares the shit out of me. <laughs> you can line up, like, line up the Niners 11 on offense, 11 on defense against the Ravens. And I think the Niners and the Chiefs, like, I feel like the Niners have a, a much better team. I feel really confident in that. And I think that the most important guy is also the biggest difference in their direction. 
I mean, <laughs> like, how, that Kelsey play how, was nasty. How much? How much does Pat Mahomes going up against the better team really mean, though? Like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I know. I think you're totally right because I think he went up against a better team today, and he was with 15 of 17 in the first half. Like, the whole whole postseason, honestly, if you ask me. Like, yeah, Miami last was, game too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And against Miami, against Allen. Yeah, you think Miami was better? I you take I their skills. For sure, you take their skills for sure. Yeah, the, the, I mean that dude, yeah. the, the dude Valdez Scanlon who caught that third down pass, John. He like he was like a running joke on Twitter all NFL season about how bad that dude was, bro. And in the last two games, he's been dropping nuts on everybody. <laughs> do you have it or do you not? You know what I'm saying? Big moments that shows up, man. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that will help make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet 5 bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. The Cowboys are seven-point favorites against the Packers this weekend, and I'm excited to see how they manage to mess it up. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code Jenkins. New customers can bet just 5 bucks to get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code Jenkins. The crown is yours. 